So in this video, we're going to go over the different structures here that are found on the heart model. So if you look here at the top, you have the left and the right brachiocephalic vein. What is this right here? So this is the superior vena cava. And then on the back side, this is what is the azygous vein. The heart has the different chambers. So for instance, this is the right atrium, the right ventricle, left ventricle here, left atrium up here. These structures that are here, so number two, so this one and then this one, both of these are auricles. So auricle means like the ear. So this is the right one and then this is the, the left one. If we open the right atrium, we'll see one of the muscles here. This is the pectinate muscle. And then uh, this is what's known as the fossa ovalis. So you have the fossa ovalis. This is the limbus of the fossa ovalis. So that's uh, 56. And then uh, coming here from the bottom, this is the inferior vena cava. That's the opening for the inferior vena cava. And then that's the opening for the coronary sinus. And these are the different valves here. So this is the valve for the coronary sinus. And then that's the valve for the inferior vena cava. Uh, so one thing uh, to mention, so remember that the coronary sinus, which is here on the back side, that's what's emptying into the right atrium. So that's right here, okay? So remember, we're, we're getting all this deoxygenated blood from here, from the, from the top, from the bottom, from the coronary sinus emptying into that um, region. Uh, you also have, this is what's known as the tricuspid valve. So the tricuspid valve is here. And then the, the heart strings, that's what's known as the chordae tendinae. So you have the chordae tendinae, which is anchored by the papillary muscles. So I like this side, uh, number 42, showing the the papillary muscles. And then what's here on the walls of the heart, uh, trabeculae carnae. Another thing to point out is this. So this is the pulmonary semilunar valve because deoxygenated blood needs to go from here to here and then it goes up into the pulmonary trunk because we're trying to get it to the lungs. Both of these, so this is a pulmonary artery because arteries go away from the heart. So this is the left one, and then the right one comes around here on the back side. So it's right here underneath the azygous vein. So then once the blood goes to the lungs, it gets oxygenated. And so that's why this number eight, these are the pulmonary veins. They are red because it's oxygenated. It kind of throws people off because when we think of veins in the human body, they are, they're you know, typically shown as blue, and then arteries are shown as red. But it's inverted in this case because the blood has to get um, oxygenated. We've gone over uh, some of the venous system. So now, once the blood gets back dumped into the heart, you then have the right atrium here, or sorry, the left atrium here. And then this is the mitral or the bicuspid valve. And then this is the ventricle. And then you have the um, aortic semilunar valve. You can see it um, right here. So then once the oxygenated blood it gets, has to go up, and so that's when it goes through the ascending aorta, which is here. So you have ascending aorta, and then this is the aortic arch, and then this is BCS. So you have the brachiocephalic trunk, this is the left common carotid, and then this is the left subclavian. Um, coming on the back side, this is the descending aorta, and then this is the esophagus. So you always remember that the esophagus is behind the trachea. So the trachea is here, that's what is going to, and then the branches, the bronchi, they go, that's what goes into the lungs. Next thing is to uh, go over some of the coronary arteries. So in one of the previous lectures, I talked about the branching, but we'll go over it uh, real quick. So this is the right coronary artery that comes off of the ascending aorta, and then this is the left coronary artery. So both of them are branching from there because right, the heart needs its own blood supply. So then if you follow the coronary artery around, the right one, this is where you'll find the marginal artery. So the marginal is there. And then from the left coronary artery, what branches is this one, which is the left anterior descending artery, or they call it the anterior interventricular. So then the one that wraps around this way, we call this the circumflex. So the circumflex goes all the way around here onto um, the backside. And then that's the posterior um, interventricular artery. So then some of the venous system. So we have to drain the blood from the heart. So then 
the one that's here in the front, this is the uh, great cardiac vein. That's go so look at all the branches here. And then there's another branch here for the great cardiac vein, which wraps all the way around. And then remember, once again, all of these veins are leading to the coronary sinus, so it goes into the right atrium. So then this one is the middle cardiac vein. And then um, this one that's coming, they call it small, right, because there's only one branch here that's coming this way.